Hey guys, so today I am outlining a birthday drawing for another anime character. This is Shoto Todoroki from My Hero Academia. He's actually one of my favorite characters. I'll kind of go in depth to that as I'm outlining, but I kind of want to say I am behind on schedule. <laughs> Basically, I told my, I usually give myself like a week, so like at least five days, a little less than a week, to prepare a drawing for like birthdays for anime characters. So I wrote note down in my um in my calendar on my phone. I write down okay, it's this birthday for this character, and I'll go through my calendar every single week to see whose is coming up next and then the week before I'll actually prepare a drawing for them but um and I do this for like most of my favorite characters it's not just any character it has to be specific characters that I like because that's just how I've been doing things so far but basically what happened was I was supposed to do this but then, because I'm not working because of the lockdown for COVID, I actually started slacking a lot because I feel like if you have a job, it's easier to be like, oh, I want to do this thing and I need to schedule doing certain things because I don't have enough time to do everything that I want to during a day or a week. But for... <laughs> Me, when there's no work, it becomes kind of sporadic, like, oh, I don't need to do this. So I have all the time in the world, and then I end up not doing it. So it's actually Saturday. His birthday is Monday, which is when I'm going to upload this video. But note to self, I should not be slacking like this. <laughs> Apparently, I'm just... Like, there were times where I was like, I need to do it like draw this drawing and then I w literally was like um I literally ended up being like sitting on my bed watching YouTube videos and I'm like what am I doing with my life exactly <laughs> so yeah um so yeah so I'm gonna start outlining and kind of talk about Shoto um yeah so I'm gonna move this down so it's easier for me so Shoto is um i call him by his first name a lot of people use like the last name thing because in anime because in japan they go by last name basis i believe to be formal but i am just doing the opposite for some characters it's not all characters i call them by their first name but some characters i like their first name better so yeah so basically Todoroki uh, Shoto is actually my one of my favorite characters. I think he was one of my favorite first characters that I liked in the show, but then I ended up, um, so I have, like, a list of, like, characters, um, it goes from, like, it's, like, top ten list, basically, um, I think... Overall, my list has changed greatly after a couple episodes, like, after three to four seasons of My Hero Academia. My list has changed a whole lot, and it's got some characters that aren't really, like, um, super popular. I mean, they're popular online, but they're just not popular, like, in the story. In the story, they're more, like, background characters I would say so yeah but Shoto is like one of my first favorite characters um he ended up going down to I don't know like down the ranks to around fifth or sixth place for me because <laughs> personally um I like Deku first and then I think I like Shoto next but then and at first, I didn't really like Bakugo because he was mean. But slowly, I started liking Bakugo more. So then Shoto got pushed down my rankings of like characters that I like. So yeah, um, 
I find Shoto to be one of those characters that I don't give enough love to in terms of like, I say that I like him, but I don't really show it often. Like, when I'm talking with my friends, I'll talk about different characters, and Shoto is like one of the last characters I'll ever talk about when it comes to like My Hero Academia. I think it's just because he's. He's a good character. It's more so, I guess, I am just too distracted by other characters. Like, um, I will admit Kirishima became my most favorite character, and he's not even, like, one of the strongest characters. Like, Shoto is pretty powerful in comparison. So yeah, you can see my rankings kind of are different. But it all depends on, like, personality, too. For me, I think it's not just based on character. Like, how the character looks is very, like, it's very much influenced by, like, their personality. So for his party hat, I'll kind of explain. For his party hat, it's supposed to look like his, um, his hero suit i can't think but it's this hero suit and basically it's um blue color and then i added the there's like a vest he wears it's kind of like a vest it's like a harness more like a harness um and he wears that so i added two white stripes to rec to represent his harness So right now I am coming in his neck area. I don't think I've ever mentioned this, but usually when I'm drawing characters, you'll notice I actually show a lot of the neck area to the um to the collarbone and to be honest I think it's because that became like one of my favorite areas to draw just because the amount of detail I can put into it um because my style is more simple because it's like like a simple anime style but I have been like putting more detail into like the structure of like how the neck and the collarbone looks like so you'll notice I usually don't cover it up, but for Shoto I ended up doing that just because I feel like sometimes I draw collar shirts too, like, low, like, the opening is, like, right here rather than up here, so I wanted, like, I guess a tighter look for it. So his shirt is actually two colors. One is white. One side is white and one side is pink. Um, originally I was going to do like red because red is more fiery. But I thought, you know, pink is a cute color that guys like to wear nowadays. So... I decided to put it on him because I thought it would look cute rather than just um, straight up dark red. I feel like red is more... Red is feels like a more mature color, I guess. But I feel like pink is like this cute color, so... So I wanted to put it on him because guys can be cute too. They don't have to be... Um, macho, I feel like this Kirishima thing, <laughs> being manly. I'm shaking my tripod, I'm sorry, I am trying so hard not to. Um, yeah, so basically I wanted to go for a cute aesthetic for his shirt.
but most of my pinks that I have are very similar in my touch markers. So you'll notice like the pinks are like from a, this like light pink or closer to a neon pink or a pastel pink to a hot pink, which is what I use to shade in this shirt. But basically you'll notice a lot of my pinks are not really, um, not really, like, I don't know, more muted. They're really bright. And she, I'm going to outline his arm and then outline this tiny doll and kind of explain it. So basically, for every birthday drawing that I have been doing since last year, because it's 2021. <laughs> um... Basically, since last year, since I started drawing these anime characters for the birthday drawings, I have made them wear either party hats and give them these tiny doll, uh, tiny dolls of themselves. It's just like, um, a cute gift for them, so that way they can hold on to it. And every time I draw these, my brother's, my brother, he absolutely loves them because he's like, this is so cute. He really likes, like, this small doll. I'll kind of zoom in so you guys can see, but basically that's what it looks like. My brother always thinks it's super cute, so I really like it too, how it turned out. So yeah, so... I am basically done my drawing, um, a few things, so yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, I'm still thinking about what other videos to make, currently I've kind of been like trying to keep up with like every week, cause usually if like I have work, I kind of schedule in, like, I kind of decide to do more videos and drawings constantly, so that way I can keep up with the fact that I'm not always home, but now that I'm, like, always home, that's a different story, um, so I'm kind of, like, all over the place when it comes to, like, being at work, like, when I do have work, but I'm kind of, like, more laid back given the fact I don't have work right now, but I'm trying to, like, keep up with my YouTube channel, so this is, like, one of these things where I'm just, like, trying to constantly think about ideas. Um, it's been a while since I did, like, to be honest, for my filming, it's been a while since I did, like, um, I've been doing a lot of cosplay reviews and stuff like that, and the reason why I toned down for now is because I actually still have, like, I have to wait for my next order to come in, but I'm still trying not to order so much just because I'm not working right now, just because the quarantine, but hopefully... Hopefully people get better so we can go back to work. But yeah, but basically you'll notice like when I do more drawing videos, it's basically when I don't have much cosplays that I'm buying. But I think I bought enough cosplays for a while because to be honest, I didn't get to wear any of them outside. Like the recently, I just bought them because I felt bored so I was like oh this is a good time to buy them since anyways I'm not spending money outside when I'm going to work so yeah that was just a thing like that was like buying online is kind of like my safety net in terms of like I don't have to go outside and pick up something something being shipped for a month or two to my house is clean so yeah so that's basically it. I think I'm done talking. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Happy, happy birthday to Shoto. Um, 
Hope you guys like this drawing. Um, the process work for him will be posted on my social media. It's in my description box below. If you want to check it out, you can follow there. I constantly put my artwork up there, especially my sketches, because I know I don't really do any videos about me, like, sketching my drawings. Someone had requested that I added that in um still a bit like because i don't really have a good camera so a lot of the times when i'm sketching it doesn't really pick up like the sketches properly because pencil is not as dark as like coloring with marker or outlining with like the outline marker so that being said that's why i don't normally do them but hopefully in the future i try to add some sketching like videos um because it's nice to see like all the process work i get why people some people want to see that but for now i am not doing that but hopefully soon i'll figure it out hope you guys enjoyed this video happy birthday to shoto bye